Hello guys, this is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. It's lovely to have you here and I hope you're gonna enjoy your time. So today we have another empties video and this time, so I usually collect it in this bag. Um, it's not a full bag, but we're moving house um, basically yesterday, today and tomorrow. And I didn't want to bring even just half a bag of rubbish with me, but still, it's a good amount of empties and I'm gonna leave timestamps in the like a uh, bar, whatever it is called. <laughs> I will leave timestamps so you can just watch separate parts if you want to. And also at the end of each of my video, I always count how much money all these products are worth. And I talk about where I am at so far in the year because I find it quite fascinating just to see how much they are worth. But for now, without further blabbering, we're gonna just jump into the video. So we're gonna start with hair care because I only have two products in here. One of them is a, is E. One of them is a dry shampoo and this is the Colab dry shampoo and this is the original fragrance. It's okay, but I had it for a really long time and while it doesn't leave any white residue, which is quite nice, I don't feel like it's as good as let's say my Batiste one. So I'm happy to get it out of my collection. I had it for way too long, I think. And it's just, it's just good to be finished with it. It's not something I will repurchase, but you know, it was okay to use. And then another one I have here is the Aveda Brilliant Shampoo. Now this one, while I like it, it's not as good as my shampoo one, um, which I had in previous empties before. It was okay to use, um, it says restores softness and shine, and while it did that, it made my hair nice and soft. At the same time, I don't feel like it cleansed my scalp enough, I can get quite oily. So I think maybe if you have like dry hair or, I don't know, really thick hair, this can help, especially together with a conditioner. Um, although I don't use the conditioner from the same line, that might be something worth investing into. But yeah, the shampoo, while it was really, really nice, it's just not something that I think is best suited for what I want from my shampoo. Yeah. Let's go with body care first. So the first thing I have here is the Sanctuary Spa White Lily and Damask Rose Body Lotion. And oh my god, it smells so good. <sighs> I like the smell of Sanctuary products anyway. And if you like floral scents that are slightly more bordering on the sweeter side, you will really, really like this. Now, I can uh, sort of scrape out the bottom if I really want to, but it's really hard to get out, but I might just leave it for tonight um, for one last time and then I will say goodbye to it. But this is definitely something I would repurchase. I think it's £6.50, so for that, it's a really, really good value. Um, if you have super dry skin, I don't think this is enough, but just for general moisturising. I'm quite good at moisturising like every night or every second night. So for me just to, you know, keep on top of it and topping up my skin, so to speak, it's really good for that. Another one from Sanctuary Spa is this hand lotion. This is actually the same size. They both hold 250 ml, which I don't know why I found it fascinating that they are different sizes, um, as in like different shapes of bottles, but they still hold the same amount. I don't know. <laughs> but this is a slightly different scent and I already repurchased this body lotion, but in this scent, if it makes sense. And I think this is just their normal, regular scent. I don't think this has a separate name to it. It smells really nice though. It smells almost like vanilla, but like a luxurious vanilla, but not too sweet, if it makes sense. But again, the hand cream I think was like £5.50. So I, I really, really like a sanctuary one. And this is a one that I kept on my makeup table because when I'm editing or doing my makeup, sometimes I feel like my hand can get really dry and I just like having something on my table that's with a pump because it's easy and mess-free. So I will definitely repurchase this one for my table. And then the last thing I have here is another hand cream, but this is the Aveda Hand Relief. Is that what it's called? Yes. As you can see, I cut it open, so I had to take the top off to see the name. Um, this is just a travel size, so this is 40 mils but they have a bigger version as well. And I really, really liked it. It's a bit more on the thicker side. It's definitely a lot thicker than the Sanctuary one, but I really, really like it. And this one was more something that lived in my handbag. Well, when we went to places, but it's just really nice for on the go. 
you know, if I was on the bus or on the tube after cleaning my hand, I would just put it on and then it could just soak in while I was on my journey. But even though it's on the thicker side, it doesn't take too, too long to soak in. So I would definitely, definitely repurchase it. And I think to keep it in my handbag, I would just keep repurchasing the travel size because the full size is quite a bit bigger and I like having something small and compact in my handbag. If I would keep it at home, I would buy the bigger one, but just for keeping it in my handbag, the travel size I think is perfect. We're gonna move on to skincare because it makes sense from body care, really. And the first thing I have here is a cleanser and this is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I really, really enjoy this. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a bit better for, for, better for use. It's a bit worse for wear, I don't. I don't know, um, excuse me, it's been a long few days of moving, but it's a really, really nice cleanser. It's really refreshing. Now I still think I prefer a balm and I used this before, so this is not my first bottle. So I'm pretty sure I will still keep repurchasing it, but it's really, really nice. It definitely cleanses off all the makeup on your face. Usually I take this and I massage it into dry skin and then I take a bit of water and then leather it up. That's how I like to use it. And then I just take a cloth, either a lizard cloth or just any other one and wash it off. And it's super nice. The scent of it is really nice and refreshing. I think it's the eucalyptus in there. Um, it has rosemary, chamomile, cocoa, butter and eucalyptus essential oil. So I think it's the eucalyptus that I can smell. I mean, it's not a new product. It's iconic for a reason. And I really, really enjoy using this. So I will definitely have more of this in the future. The next one is another bottle of the Mario Badescu facial spray. Now I had another little one of these, I don't know, a while ago. I bought them in a set and I'm just happy that this is gone because there are so many articles and YouTube videos since stating that these are actually not that great for your skin and I, you know, tried to learn more about skincare but obviously when I bought these I didn't know that so I'm just happy that it's gone now and I'm not going to repurchase these. The next one is a mini of the Balance Me Flesh Cleanse Micellar Water. Now I got this with a makeup palette that I bought. But I think from what I've seen this has 30 mils in there and you can actually buy this as a travel size for £7. I don't know. I mean it was a fine micellar water. It's I don't think it's anything special. It's a micellar water but the scent of it, it stank. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It just has a really strange, almost like toilet cleaner scent to it. And while it, oh no, while it does its job perfectly, do you really want to smell like toilet cleaner? I sure don't want to smell like that on my face. So while it did its job, I would definitely not repurchase neither a small nor a big size. But also for such a tiny bottle, even though it holds 30 mils, it was enough for me for about a week probably but again I sort of double cleanse or I use it sometimes in the mornings just to cleanse my face before moisturizing so I don't necessarily use it all the time but still seven pounds for such a tiny bottle I don't know I mean if you're traveling I guess it's fine but yeah not not my favorite definitely not another one though that was my favorite but this was definitely just a sample size again came in an order is the power 10 formula by its skin and it's the GF Factor 10. Now I talked about this I think in one of my skincare videos. I love this. This is so so nice. Now I don't know anything about its skin. They are an eye herb so I wonder if that means they're cruelty free but I couldn't really find anything about their cruelty free status. So if anyone knows please let me know because my skin loved it. So this was like a gel kind of moisturizing serum but it was more on the gel formula side and my skin loved it. I put this on first and then I went in with my moisturizer and my skin was super soft and really really loved this. So if you know anything about the brand please let me know because I would love to know and I would love to repurchase this in a full size. Second to last skincare product is the Boots Ingredients Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Now again, in my skincare video, I already said that this is empty and while it's not expensive, it's £5, I think, and it holds 30 mils. So I guess it's the same size as this one. Um, yeah, that, that seems about right. 
while it was a nice, I mean it's a hyaluronic acid serum, there's not a lot to it, um, and my skin seemed to like it, I feel like I went through it so quickly, like in a few weeks, and even though it's only five pounds, I don't know, I feel like it's too quick. So next time I'm gonna purchase the one by Ordin The Ordinary, they have a hyaluronic acid serum as well, and just wonder if that's gonna last me longer. It might not, I don't know. Price-wise, I think they are around the same. I, I like the pump, it was quite handy, and I usually use like a pump and a half, also at a reapplication. And yeah, it was okay. I use it day and night most of the days as well, so maybe that's why I went through it so quickly. I don't know, is that normal? And then the last skincare product is the Isana um, Lip Balm in the olive flavor version. I don't know. <laughs> um, I picked this up when I was in there, Hungary at home in a drugstore because I forgot to take a lip balm with me when I went home in January. And actually this was super nice, so much so that I scraped every last inch of it out. Look at that, it's all, literally all of it is gone. And half of it was used up by my boyfriend, he actually loved it too and he's not big into lip balms or anything like that. But I left it on his table so if he wants to he can use it and I actually mentioned that he really really likes this. It did leave a bit of an oily film on your lips but it was really comfortable and nothing bothering at all. And it didn't have any shine or colour or anything and I think that's why Luke enjoyed it as well because it didn't make you look girly or anything like that. It just literally moisturised your lips so so well and uh, I mean I bought it in January and it's gone now so it was clearly great. We usually don't go through lip balms that quickly but because both of us used it we did and I really really liked it and I will definitely repurchase it once I manage to go home again because at the moment I tried a few times already and I cannot make it home. So thanks Corona for that. Thank you. <laughs> the next category is miscellaneous because I don't know where to put these. So again, another thing I bought at home, but I think this was last summer, is just a mini deodorant by the same brand as the lip balm, Isana, and this is a soft blossom um, deodorant and this doesn't have any aluminium in there either. And for the days when I'm not leaving the house, I don't necessarily need a perfume and this has a little floral scent to it. So I could just spray it and then, you know, be on my way at home. So <laughs> I find it's quite handy for that because if I leave the house, I will put on a perfume. But for just home, sometimes I feel like I don't need to. But I still don't want to be smelly. And this, apart from keeping me nice and dry, it also gave me a teeny tiny scent. So this was quite nice. And um, yeah, I would probably, probably repurchase it. It also says that it doesn't have any microplastic in it. So that's always good news. We are not putting plastic in the oceans and in our waters. So, you know, I'm happy with that. The next one on the smelly side is the Body Shop White Musk Perfume. <sighs> I love it. This smells like a fresh floral meadow to me anyway. It smells like a really nice flowery field. And I have about one use left in there but I thought I'm gonna show it to you anyway but I will definitely repurchase it I think this is 13 pounds for 60 mils and it's so perfect for the days when you just want to run around and have a nice floral scent to me this is more like a spring summer kind of scent just because it's so so fresh and floral but if you like those kind of scents give this a sniff and I don't think you're gonna be disappointed and again the price point is just really affordable but if you know any bigger or any good brands that sell cruelty free perfume please let me know because that's the one aspect I feel like I'm always struggling with because before that I used to use Marc Jacobs and Burberry but those are not cruelty free which pains me to say but yeah if you know any please let me know but this smells super duper nice. The last product in the miscellaneous category is the Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 um, pure castile soap and this is the baby mild version so this is supposed to be a bit more mild than the rest of it and this is the 400 and something mils 473 so random I used up one of these before I think it was just well not only one um but the, the previous one I think was a rose one and then I had like a eucalyptus one before so I used these before many many times and I use these to clean my makeup brushes so 
usually I have a little tub, like a little plastic cup. And I pour a little bit of this in and then I add water, mix it together and it cleans my brushes amazingly. I've been using these for years and at the moment I repurchased the rose one again because I, I like it. But this was really, really nice too. So I don't see why I wouldn't repurchase it. I repurchased it many times before and it cleans my brushes perfectly. It's super good. I don't use it for anything else. I know there are loads of different ways to use it. But that's just the way I like to use it. I like to use it for my brushes and it works perfectly and it's enough for ages. I think the last one I used up was in one of my empties last year at some point. So, you know, this lasted me at least eight months, which is amazing, if not more. Moving on, we have now nails before we move on to makeup. I have quite a few makeup empties too, which is good. But for the nails, first I have the Boots Nail Polish Remover and this is the moisturizing, moisturizing version. Um, I think Boots' own brand is cruelty free, but I bought this in March, I think. Because I thought I'm running out of makeup remover, I still had a little bit left, but I was sort of running out. And um, I was not too sure when we we're going to be able to go out because it was the beginning of a lockdown. But we were still working because I remember one of my workmates, um, she went out on her lunch break to Boots and I asked her to pick me up an air pollution remover and this was it. But I actually really, really liked it that it's moisturizing. I really felt a difference in my cuticles and stuff. So I really, really liked it and I would happily repurchase the biggest size. I'm pretty sure Boots own brand is cruelty free, isn't it? Another thing for moisturizing is the Avon Nail Experts and this is a cuticle gel and this truly was more like a gel rather than an oil. And actually this was really, really nice, surprisingly. I was not too sure what to expect from this. I had it for a long time and I sort of forgot about it. But once I used it consistently, actually it really did help and I enjoyed it. Now I think they changed the packaging and also they are not cruelty free. So it's not something I'm going to repurchase, but on a budget, I think this was around like four pounds. It was amazing and I really liked it. Then I have two nail polishes. One of them is a P2 Volume Gloss. I can't really see a shade name, but it's the bubblegum pink one. And the other one is a Nails Ink. Um, this was, I think, in a magazine. This is in collaboration with Kate Spade and it was just a silver one. They were both in my nail polish declutter and I kept these in my side drawer to see if I can finish it by the time we move. And if I didn't, I'm going to throw them away anyway, but I did manage to finish them. So it's great and I can link my nail polish declutter in the cards so you can check it out for yourself if you want to. I talk a bit more about why I kept the ones I did and what my system was with that. It's a bit too long for this video but yeah these two I managed to finish up which is great and now we move on to makeup so it's mostly complexion products for this time I mean I'm, I'm quite good with using up my complexion products but one of them is the Tarte base tape teeny tiny primer sample and this is a really nice hydrating primer it was just part of a little kit I got back in February when we went to Paris and it's super, super nice. I would not mind having a big size of this. I find this to be really similar to the Smashbox Primerizer. I find it's really similar both in color and in texture and in like what it does to your skin. So if you can't find that one, I guess get this one. I don't know price wise, I'm pretty sure they're around the same. So it's not going to make much of a difference, but that's what this really, really reminds me of. And that is one of my all-time favorite moisturizing primers. So I really enjoyed this. But in the UK, Smashbox is a bit more accessible rather than Tarte. Then I also have the Decli or BB cream in the shade Medium. I cut this open as well. I think it was in one of my project pens. But this was not my favorite, if I'm honest. I think Medium is a bit too dark for me. But... It was okay to use. This was more something I enjoyed more around the spring summertime and I enjoy more of a lighter base. And it was okay, but it's not something I would repurchase and I don't even think they make this anymore, to be fair. And then the last one that's for complexion is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. It's completely gone now and I loved it. For three pounds, if you are oily or if you just like a translucent setting powder, this is perfect. If you like to just, you know, put something in your bag but you don't want to break it on the go with you, again, £3, 
perfect for touch-ups and I have nothing bad to say about it. At the moment I'm using one from Collection but I think when that's done I would happily repurchase this again. I just have quite a few setting powders at the moment but this is a really really good one. I really loved it and especially for the price you can't beat it. I mean if you want something that's more glowy that's not for you but if you're looking for a more mattifying powder it's perfect. Then I have the Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Now I never use it on my eyelashes but I regularly use it, set it for my brows and there's a teeny tiny bit left in the corner but it's really manky and gross. I had it for a really long time but as you can see it's mostly empty and now it got to the point where every time I used it, camera, thank you. It got to the point where every time I used it, it just flaked off my brows and it was not a good look. So I'm like, okay, you know what, it's time for this to go. I have so many other brow gels and this one had its time. I used the hell out of it. And the last thing I have here is the teeny tiny nib I have left. This used to be a milk jumbo pencil by NYX. Truly iconic. And I have one more left. I bought them in a three pack a long time ago. Um, I gave one to my friend, I kept two, and um, this is gone. <laughs> this is really, really nice as an eye base. That's what I mean. I use it for, or you can even use it in your waterline. And, I mean, this was truly iconic for a reason. It's been around for a long time, and I remember when at one point, before loads of different eye primers came about, a lot of people used to use this because it's white, so it makes bright colors really pop and that's what I mainly use it for to this day. One done and I have one more to go but it's really really good. And that's it, that's all my empties for today so let me get my notebook so I can tell you how much they are worth. So this was my shortest empties so far in terms of like how much time I've been working on these product, products because it's only been a month. This time around it was worth 161 pounds and 63 pence again. I think I said it before. <laughs> My brain is truly a mush in this moving, but that's where I think this is the smallest amount of so far, which is still a really good amount. And it's still a nice pile of products next to me. So I'm super happy that I managed to use these. And this past month, I was just really focusing on using up the last bits of products that I knew were on their last leg, so I don't have to move them with me. But so far this year, my total then comes up to a 963 pounds and 72 pennies. So that's quite good, I would say. It's almost a thousand pounds, which to me is really crazy. But at the same time, again, I say it every single month or every few months when I film this, I'm really, really happy that I get to get some proper use out of my products and at least I know that when I spend all this money I get good use out of it and um, I keep my makeup empties so I will have a full on video of my makeup empties of the year because with skincare and hair care and everything it always seems like I use up quite a bit but it would be quite interesting to see where we end up just with makeup because well we talk about makeup a lot, a lot on this channel but anyway I just yeah I like to know how much they are worth and I say it all the time just because this is their worth, this is their, oh, what's the word? Retail value. There we go. <laughs> this took me a long time. So this is just because this is their retail value. It does not necessarily mean that that's how much money I spent on them. Because, you know, I shop with discounts and it truly really helps a lot. So I'm going to go now. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would truly mean so much to me. I post videos three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I have the occasional Saturday videos as well. It's all beauty content, especially makeup. I don't know why especially came out so weird. But I'm gonna go now because I have to pack up some more stuff. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye, have a lovely day!